Good day, Tubes. Bill Latouk here today. How's she going? So, uh... No, I'm not a, some kind of weird French chef. But anyways, <laughs> how's she going? There, I'll put her back down where she should be and stuff. But uh, she's definitely too weathered outside. Holy crap, and I just smacked my head. Isn't that stupid thing? I'm going to so chainsaw that thing out of there one day. Oh, man. But anyways, uh, I guess today we'll do a little bit of preventative maintenance-y stuff on this thing here. And uh, we're going to get in here. See, it's all nice and clean, dried off and stuff. Well, dried off, not clean, but... We'll get in there and pop this cover off, and I'm going to start up the tractor briefly, turn her a bit that way, and then up in the air. So, But uh, anyways, let's turn her up in the air. There we go. Now, I should be able to tilt this thing a little bit too here. Yep, that's good. And it'll give me lots of roomage to get in there because I think this bolt here, I gotta get in way frick back in through the cover here. Where did she go? Yeah, that's right there. Now, that doesn't actually feel like a nut, or is it? really tell. Should be able to see these ones here. Yeah, I think those are... Oh no, they're not nuts. Oh, that's good. Thank goodness John Deere. <laughs> anyways, uh, looks like that's just like a sleevey thingy there that's probably pressed in or whatever there. So anyways, let's grab a couple wrenches and we'll see what we can do here. Well, I got lots of coarse airy tools that I could use for ripping these things off here, but I uh, figured I'd just do it with a 10 mil wrench. I've seen a wrench now, they have a cracked tire that's got like a, a ratcheting dewy thing on the uh, open end of these things. On that, on on, uh, on this end there's like a little cami lock thing in there that's a uh, ratchet kind of thing. I thought, hey, that's kind of cool, but I don't really need a new set of wrenches, so. So, that is, I guess, some kind of pressed in dewy thing. So that's pretty handy, I like that. Now, I do have actually quite a few more. They're all like spinning pretty free too, which is good. Now, I can't remember, but I think inside of this cover or something there was some sort of something attached to the cover to do something with it. I just can't remember. So I'm gonna leave that one to get these bottom fillers. See, there's this thingy here, but I can't remember now what that does. Oh, you know what I should be doing is using my... Uh... <laughs> oh, that one seemed to be turning. Oh, maybe not. Uh, I should be using my uh, uh, air compressor we just built there for... Huh. Wrench is stuck. Oh, there we go. Use my air compressor for, for these with the tool on it. I think that'd be cool, but I won't. We'll get them. So I think this is how I've got to do when I take this thing apart to... Uh, oh, the ground's dirty back when I'm sitting on it. Uh, to take it apart for putting brushes on. I think I gotta take this side off, the other side off, and I believe there's a couple of bolt deweys inside of there. Hold that all on, it's like a big cage thingy that holds it all together there. Now that should, should be loose. So inside of here should be the chain and a couple of little plasticky looking deweys that kind of thing rubs along when the chain starts to get a little slack. And I can't remember last time either if I adjusted it or if you can adjust it or 
think there was some sort of adjustment thingy something, but I just can't remember. I guess we'll find out once we get uh, this last bolt out of here. Here we go. All right. The big reveal. Oh, that thing fell out. That's right. That's pretty slack looking, boys. <laughs> I think we might be uh, maybe having to do something with this. So that little dewey there is just like a plastic dewey that sits in there that the chain just kind of goes around. And this thing, I don't think it has an adjustment. And that's bigger than a 41 pitch. Uh oh. That thing I do believe was there. Ooh, that is really slack. Holy shnikes. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything for an adjustment any... Well, there was actually. I am mistaken. I do believe that in this cover... Yes, there was. Some kind of screw. It looks like it went in and pushed up on this feller here. I do believe. Hmm. I do actually think I remember that now. Some kind of screw that this thing held in here and there was a screw there that went in that little hole there and it seems to be gone. Yes. Probably some kind of stupid weird frickin' weird metric thread thing. There's the master link. Now, I think I'm going to pop this chain off of here, and it also runs through this thing here, so I guess it helps it from skipping off. I think we're going to remove this chain and just check it for, you know, play. Like, remember how I did it with the other one with the new chain on Dell's bike there? It only bent so far, but the other one, like, bent, like, right around in almost a circle. We're going to do that little test, I think, and check her that way and see how she's looking. So let me go grab some tools. We'll see if we can get this chain off of here. All right, so the master is right there. Let's see if we can hold them. Okay, that's good. That seemed to come off pretty good. Master. All right, this chain actually looks somewhat worn out. Jeez. I think that's backed out too, and this one looks like it's missing. What the frick? Now, how the heck does this work? Something more like that, I guess. Well, I'm gonna have to do some investigating on that. But anyways, the chain feels like it's pretty grimed up still, like like greasy, so. Because last time I was in here, I must have really loaded her on good, so anyways, let's take her into the bench. Alright, well, let's lay her out here. Let's see what we're looking at. Now, I'm going to go that way. These actually is not that bad. I don't feel a lot of play in it. Oh, there's a bit there, I guess. Probably wouldn't hurt to maybe replace it, you know, while we're in there, so. For that chain, I'm pretty darn sure I don't have any of. I know I've got some of uh, this stuff, which I think is a 40 or 41. Um, 40. That's a 40 pitch, so that might be a 50 pitch. Well, heck. Pretty darn sure I don't have any that size. I got a roll of this stuff because uh, the snowblower's got uh, short length of this stuff in there. That's what it uses. So uh, I'll have to run out to uh, TSC stores and pick up some chain because I don't have any of this size. And it's actually good. They're still rolling. These little deweys in the center here are still rolling good. So that's good. It's actually in you know pretty good shape. For, for the uh, abuse I put her through, but um, there is a bit of flex there. It is starting to go, and I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's, yeah, some of them are starting to get kind of worn funny, so 
Uh, now, what does it say on this chain? Anything about... Oh, it is a 50. Ah, oh, good guess! It says Reynolds SD50 on her. That's good. Let me show you that. Reynolds SD50. I'm presuming that would be a 50 pitch. And this stuff here says the 40 on it, right? So, at least I tell you. I don't really like the one a little bit further down, but, you know, China is making some good stuff. But, anyways, uh, also have to count how many links this is. And, uh, geez, I don't know how many links that is yet. All right, counted up 39 links. Frickin' sweet. So, anyways, I'm going to run out maybe grab some 50 weight chain or 50 pitch chain and... Uh, probably some master links too. Probably should replace them as well. And I think this stuff comes in a 10 foot roll. From what I was remembering, it's 10, foot, 10 or 12 foot. That's maybe about three and a half feet there. So we'll have enough for some other times as well, you know. So. Forty-eight inch, roughly. Forty-eight and a half, right to the end. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Four foot, we'll say. Pretty close, but anyways, uh, yeah, let's run out and grab some, uh, grab some chain. Well, we're gonna test the truck again today there and see uh, if it does that shutter installing thing like it was doing. The last couple of days, it hasn't done it at all. So. Don't ask me what the heck's going on with it. <laughs> oh man, it's either going to do something and it's not going to do something, but then it doesn't do it, you know? So, man, oh man, I don't know, what a nuisance. But anyways, let's go fire that old girl up and see what happens today. All right, contact. Idle down pretty fast. Funny how it runs for a bit and then it starts to do it. I think if there was a vacuum leak or something, it would do it right away, you know. Seems to be idling fine there. About 900, roughly. Don't ask me, boys, I don't know. It's minus three out. It's not as cold as it was the other day, but Maybe it just doesn't like the cold. <laughs> I don't know. Sort of seems fine. I'm just going to neutral up, neutral it out if I can or not. Come on, you're on a hill, go. Stupid thing. I don't know, boys. Seems almost like it's okay today. That is freaking weird. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on now. It's really got me baffled. If, like I say, if there's an air leak or something, you think it would do it right off the bat. Air leak's an air leak. It's not going to change. <sighs> but today it didn't do anything at all. It just seemed perfect. So, I don't know. It's still running a bit fast, mind you, but that's, I think, what it's supposed to do until it kind of warms up a bit, right? Computer adjusts things again, and uh, away you go. Maybe it's something to do with the computer glitch freezing up things or screwing up things or something. I don't know. Who knows? It could be as simple as that, too, or expensive as that, too, right? But who knows? Anyways, let's drive her to TSC. All right, we made her to the store. Now, remember one thing when I was driving out here, too, a weird thing that the truck's been doing now since we uh, fixed that EGR valve and that leak in that pipe. If you're sitting somewhere, whatever, idling, just sitting there, da -da -da -da. the truck's all warm and everything. It's been warmed up, had a good drive warmed up and stuff. Sitting there, da -da 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 it kind of idles itself up a little bit. I ain't never heard of that with fuel injection before, so. Um, it goes from, well, what does it level off to here? It's about 550 roughly now, and it was up to, I think, 700 almost when it was sitting there and you could actually hear it uh, up a bit more and then if you put it in gear you know, it drops right back down again I ain't never heard of that before either so another weird thing <laughs> but anyways we are here we're gonna go grab some chain and a couple of masters 
and because uh, I'm going to have enough chain probably in one of those boxes for um, quite a bit, a uh, few extra ones. So, but anyways, let's go see what we can get. Alrighty, we made her back and I uh, got some chain. Last box they had, I got some Lynx, Master Lynx, three in a pack, so that's super awesome. And I got something I don't normally use, but I figured I seen her there, she might work, but it's actually for a 60 to 100 pitch chain, so I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> it might not work. They didn't have a smaller one, so uh, yeah, normally what I do is just grind the, the pin off, I'll show you in a sec here, grind the pin and uh, sort of hit it out with a, a dewy, right? There's a spare dewy, I think, there. There's no real instructions at all in this at all, so... Presuming it's just trial and error. Error? Error? Error. So... Yeah, see, it says it's a 60 to 100 there, so I, I don't know if this is going to work or not. It might not work on this chain, but... Anyways, uh, first of all, let's get a new... Uh, link, uh, length of the links lined up here. This is uh, the last box they had out there and uh, it's probably only the box they ever had anyways but I don't know if they sell much of this. 50 links or 50 pitch stuff. Now if I find an end, that'd be super awesome nice. Oh wow they even give you a master. Oh sweet didn't know that. Well that's all right so I'll we'll take that master apart I guess so we can get a proper Length of the Dewey. Now, running out of pliers. <laughs> right tool for the right job, I bet, I guess, eh? There we go. So they give you a master. Oh, well, there you go. Didn't even know that. I didn't open the box actually. I had to put the actually put the box back together. It was all uh, all over the place. The box, everything was just a big mess out there today for some reason. Come on! Hose head! Holy! Okay, let's try it this way. Holding on for dear life. Here. Okay. We are demastered. So what we're going to do is. Well, that's not good. This one's already starting bad. Actually, I'll start from this end. What's the chain? Something was telling me that this one was over floor already once. <laughs> okay. Holy, oh, this is turning into a nightmare, boys. Okay, let's lay up it on the edge, maybe. I don't think this one's really too far out of shape, but... I'm thinking we're still going to do her here. Now... What a trick is, is to take your master and put it in the end dewy like that, and that'll kind of hold her from sliding too much on you. And... Too much junk, boys. Too much junk and not enough stuff. And someone needs to clean their shop up. Okay, there's Dilly's old master there, so. Yeah, they're looking actually pretty good. Well, let's just see here now. I don't know now so much. Oh, wait a minute. Not much stretch in it. It didn't stretch much, but it's probably still quite usable, this chain, but ah, what the heck. 
Okay, so me, myself, and I have never used one of these before. And I uh, kind of do understand how they work. But it'll be a learning experience for me for sure. And that just goes there. You just keep crushing that thing right through. Man, I've always kind of liked the doing it the other way, I think, but there, I think that's where this thing's gonna screw me here is uh, these things in here are just a little bit too uh, too big fatty wide for it. Um, they basically just need to have another another dewey in there and that would bust her right through but uh, guess it's sort of coming maybe I'll just keep trying to stab her through here Ooh. It's sort of coming Got much room left, so I guess it's working, but it's tight. So now that that's broke you through, all it's really done is sort of bend the thing. <laughs> Didn't really do what I sort of wanted it to, but um, now what to do? Uh, let's pull this master out here. I usually do it the other way, right? So maybe a more better way. I don't know. Never really done much of those chain breakers before, but not really done anything except sort of bend the bend the uh, the dewy there on me. So uh, let's see here. Guess I could probably see if that'll hit it with a punch, but I don't know, that's a pretty beefy chain. I guess it kind of sort of did work, but not kind of sort of the way I wanted it to. <laughs> uh, hmm. One thing I can think of is get in there with a, a uh, whatchamacallit Dewey here. Maybe with this feller. Get in there and maybe zip right through that. Grab some air pressure. Air pressure. Now, get the Dewey lined up here. If we want it. Let's see what we can do here. Being nice boys. Try not to cut the other part of the chain I actually want.
at all. Yes, it did. Okay, still got to get that rest of this pin out of here, which I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Nope, we're good. Okay. So, we technically should have a chain with the inside Dewey links on both ends, which the old one is like too. Good. That's a Pretty beefy pin in those things, eh? Beefy pin. Okay. That is good for that. What we're gonna do with this now is probably just leave that like that for now. We can do that after and just roll her back up and do a, a bit of a chain ball here. They had a hundred pitch chain out there too. That stuff is so freaking huge. It is just massive. Couldn't imagine the strength that stuff would have. Probably got like quarter inch pins in that one. Okay. Well, since they gave us a link with this fellow, we'll maybe use that. We'll put um, the rest of this back in the chain bag that it came in. back in the box that it came in. Now that it just fell apart in the bag on me. Thanks a lot, bag. Yeah, frickin' box is all falling apart on me. And uh, these links I'll just throw back in there. Good till next time when I say, oh man, I'm gonna have to go get some chain. I don't have any. <laughs> but anyways, let's go uh, see what we can do putting this feller back together. All right, well, I made a, another bolt. I had to add some threads onto her because I don't know how far this is gonna have to go in, but the stupid thing with this thing is you can't really uh, see what you're adjusting and, until you get the cover on. You can't see what you're doing. <laughs> so kind of dumb that way, but. Anyways, I made this bolt, and uh, like I don't know how much, like that many lengths, how many, how much slack this will give this thing to, to start with. But I just kind of think that's kind of dumb the way they sort of done that. But anyways, uh, don't ask me, boys. I guess we'll try to uh, get this feller fed back through here, which might be interesting. Oh, maybe not. not too bad. Still kind of weird though. Actually, I don't know if I've got that right. Let's try that again here. Yeah, I guess that was right. That's the only way she's gonna go. It looks like the uh, sprockets are still pretty good. Yeah, that's the only way the thing does go. I guess it doesn't fit anymore of that chain in there, so. This way. On there somewhere, except I'm gonna have to do it right in here, I guess. Okay, Master Link.
master link. Good. Make sure she's all good again. Oh, what's going on there, boys? There we go. Yeah, so that's kind of a weird kind of a way to adjust the chain tension because you can't uh, kind of sear until it's you know kind of inside and the covers on. So I don't know. I don't know. make sure I get this on the right way. This thing should spin that way, which would mean it will come through that way. So we want to put this thing on we want to put this thing on this way. So it'll come through and get pushed. Okay. So put it on this way again. Just want to make sure you do that right because it could get itself pushed off. The, right? Oop, there goes a the tensioner. Okay, we're linked. Now, that is going to be a real challenge because I don't know how much we're going to need on this. Now, I can probably get a guesstimate here. Okay, let's say that thing the adjuster is. idea here. That adjuster is right about level with the bottom of our hoopy thing on that thing and I got a little chunk of metal on my finger and those really hurt. Ah. Okay. Don't know if I got it but nope. I'll have to get my little pliers out. But anyways, uh, so yeah that adjuster is there. That thing come in. That actually looks like it might work pretty good. I guess you just tension that up until you can't feel her pushing anymore. Seems kind of strange. I wouldn't mind running this thing and then uh, giving her a spray as it runs, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. And this thing here, what is going on here? if this thing's ready to fall off of here or what's going on but that key's all the way out and this one looks good here but this one I don't even know if there's one in it hmm well I'm not going to worry I guess right about it right now I'd really like to get this hunk of metal out of my finger though it's still there okay so uh, I guess we'll grab some chainy spray we'll give her a spray Oh, I think I'm going to try firing up here, just running real slow here. Give her a spin. Dewey fell out, but that's okay. We can get that back in there. And I guess I guess we'll go ahead and put her back on. Make sure the Dewey's line up here. Hmm. Why are you giving me grief, Dewey? A lot 
enough lubed anyways, that's good. Huh. I don't remember that being a pain before, but maybe it was. Well, isn't that a stupid thing? side. Isn't that awful? No real way of holding that thing in there because you can't really get into it, right? Basically, you need to get her. Oh, I think we got her. Holy crap, put a bolt in quick. <laughs> put a bolt in quick. Find a bolt first. Okay, so what I think I need to do as well on this... Uh, bolt here for the adjuster is put a lock nut on there so I guess once we get her tight we can put the nut down onto the uh, the dewey in there and that should keep her from vibrating out again I imagine that's probably what it had done it vibrated itself out right not super good light there for you guys is it with that a little better. that adjuster was just sitting there in the wind. Before there I couldn't really hear anything rattling or noisy or nothing, but I don't know. Okay, I think we're good. them having those things in there you don't have to get in there with another wrench and hold a nut just crank them down and away you go Okay, let's go get a, a, a nut for this so we can jam her in there when we're ready and uh, tighten her in and I guess we're good to go. All right, I got a couple of nuts actually if we're on here. There's a, uh, it'll jam up against the housing and then we'll jam the other nut up against the other nut. And that should keep her from moving. I guess I just basically got to get this thing high enough so it clears everything here, right? So we might need to chop a little bit off the end. Well, maybe not. Oh, maybe we will. <laughs> Actually, that's not bad. Now let's just push tight. Let's just see. I don't think I want to go super too tight. That's 
gonna come down. I think we're actually pretty good with that length. It's a bit long, but uh, be nice if you could see in there after you've adjusted the thing. But how are you supposed to be able to know, right? She's all enclosed in there, so who knows if you're putting on too much or not enough, or the thing's falling apart, maybe. should still clear because the brushes are yeah I think we should be fine it is a bit long though I should probably chop about an inch off the other end but that'll give you room too if the thing ever did stretch you know but okay now that should not come off <laughs> we should be good there now anyways let's fire it up here again and see if it sounds funny or anything or what's gonna happen that's it for today I haven't really got much else planned for doing stuff so I don't know what else I'm gonna do the rest of the day but uh, anyways uh, tomorrow we might do uh, a little bit of reloading for the uh, nine millimeter um, these fellers little guys we're gonna do some reloading on these fellers we fired a few the other day there and uh, we uh, got a few more to reload I don't know there's probably 30 odd there anyways but uh, maybe we, I got some new brass too so maybe we'll do some uh, some new ones as well and I got a whole box uh, of uh, bullets here the other day so I got uh, five 500 of them <laughs> so they're just uh, just a lead you know cast of Dewey but um, we were having issues these other ones that are smooth and uh, the crimp and stuff was not doing too good and actually when it was loading it in it was jamming the um, jamming the thing in and kind of messing her up and stuff so I'm not really 102 percent sure what was going on there but uh, that one's smushed in a bit too far right so that's from loading and it get kind of jammed right so these ones don't have uh, like they're just the smooth ones right where these ones have the little groovy thing that it'll actually uh, crimp the the shell in and around so I did one here without powder just to see and it seems like it's got a fairly good crimp to it kinda hard to see but you can sort of see it there right so hopefully that should be good but uh, I don't know weird but yeah you'd fire bang 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 and then next one to get kinda you know jammed and kind of screwed screwed itself so it would uh, kind of get jammed when it was loading in so can't really figure it out other than then it's just can't take that to load it in it just you know gets hits there and then jam shortens the thing and then kind of jams because it's too short then right so I don't know we'll figure it out but uh, anyways I got my reloading book out here and I got the uh, this Dewey listen it's full of primers little primers that go in the uh, these little fellers, those little fellers there, so uh, the gun puts a little dent in that and then a little fire and then boom, it fires the rest of the powder inside. So there's one, of course, you know, without the primer. So yeah, it works good, but all these I've inspected too, they've only been fired once that I can think of and um, they should be uh, good to go again. So should probably throw them in a tumbler, I know I don't have one, but um, once they get really dirty and cruddy looking I'll probably have to do that but you know they're sort of not too bad yet so we'll fire them once more maybe they're pretty cruddy inside though aren't they oh boy 
But yeah, that'd be another big investment to get a tumbler and let them go for a day or so, whatever it takes, and cleans them all up for you again. But anyways, that's it for today. We had the shotgun out the other night too. I don't know if you've seen that over there. Needs a cleaning now. We were blasted that out of a whole bunch. Uh, my buddy Land Kids never fired one uh, anything bigger than a 22, so we had him on the 9 mil here to start. And then the big 12 gauge shotgun, he uh, got a big smile on his face when uh, he was playing with that one, let me tell you. So, <laughs> and uh, I got one bigger, I guess, than that. That'll do a little bit, well, just as much or maybe a little more kick than that is that 30 out 6. It gives a pretty good snap. So, but uh, yeah, anyways, we'll do that maybe tomorrow if there's nothing else going on that I can think of. Uh, later today I might uh, bang on some more of those bridge boards out there, but probably won't film that because, you know, you've seen that already kind of sort of thing. So we'll uh, maybe go and do that later on there and stuff and then uh, maybe show you her, show her tomorrow kind of thing when she's all done. But anyway, that's it for today. Have a good night. Thanks for watching again and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow.